What is going on, you lunatics? Guys, we have 5 million holders of Terra Luna Classic. And the question is, how do we get them involved in this ecosystem? Now, I can't do that alone. Um, however, if you are watching, sign up for weeks. I need you to sign up for weeks. That helps tremendously with Luna Classic because once you start trading over there, you start burning tokens, the same as Binance. And if we're not burning it on Binance, let's burn it on weeks and let's make this happen. And uh, Terra Casino does the same thing. It does burning, allows you to enjoy, gives you a gaming experience. Uh, and, and in fact, we're going to talk about one of their partners today in our stuff. But before we kick this off, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. Helps me out tremendously. And uh, if we want to grow this ecosystem, then it's going to take all hands on deck. And uh, so we're going to start off with a little bit of news. Then we're going to kick into some price action. Then we're going to close it out with a new project. And it's actually an old project, kind of uh, bringing it back around one more time. And you've seen it on this channel a few times so far. First up, no real new information about Duquan other than what I said yesterday, where uh, the, the Justice Minister of Montenegro, a paid shill for the United States government, is most probably going to decide uh they continue to overturn uh extradition to south korea in order to fight for the united states government to try to get him to come to america which i mean you know at, at this point i don't think it really matters um I, I i mean it's probably more strict if he goes to south korea it's probably worse for him if he goes to south korea but uh that's where the crime took place you know what i mean or the alleged crime took place whatever you you want to call it right um now uh, is he liable for misleading people? That's what they've just, they've established in the United States. So uh, we'll see how this plays out. I'll keep you informed as we get information. Also, uh, the, there is a community proposal up, and this is to establish a core long team. And there's some silly arguments against it, by the way. Establish a Terra Classic team, right? Uh, that's you know the whole idea here. 12093, by the way, is the one. Vote however you like. If you don't want that, it's fine. It, it, I mean, it's literally fine uh, one way or another. Just some of these things take longer. Um, the joint L1 task force has been dissolved. Um, so here we are. Um, and now we're having this again. But let me go to the C Commonwealth and I'll, and I'll show you here. Uh, Bull Boss right here says, you know, this proposal seeks governance, the role, salaries, blah, 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 blah. Following the approval of this proposal, the community validators are to be engaged on Commonwealth to decide the requirements, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it gives you all of this. Is, and then, uh, Lunk Rocket here says, as long as the team is six Samurai Moon Rabbits Genuine Labs, I'm okay with that. Uh, and then somebody says, six Samurai Moon Rabbits Genuine Labs. I understand the reason for Genuine Labs as they have delivered code and our KYC, but six Samurais and Moon Rabbit? Remember, not that long ago, Moon Rabbit was the company that was being paid or on the payroll of Luna. Uh, Terraform Labs was cutting them a check. Now, you know, some might say that's a different Moon Rabbit, but really? So, you know, I don't know. Uh, they're a mysterious non KYC entity, if you will. Uh, and then Bull Boss says establishing monthly salaries contradicts PPJ, risking mediocre results in centralization. It's a step back and would allow new individuals to drain community funds again. I don't understand the argument there. Um, if you're not spending money to improve the blockchain or to uh, make the blockchain better, what's the use of having community funds? And look, I realize that there is a quote unquote drain on community funds. I, I, I certainly would understand that. However, uh, in order to get developers well enough to build on this chain, specifically the chain, somebody like a genuine labs, it does work. It doesn't work for free. Like we're having an argument and guys, I, I understand you might like decentralization. You might like the pay for job sort of situation here. But what are we really asking? We're going to pay one way or another. The difference here is uh, guaranteeing somebody that they're going to get money. And look, every blockchain uh, doesn't have 100% of their, their tokens out there. There's people that hold on to tons of these tokens that are developers or who are friends of developers or who got in at the early, uh, et, et cetera. So there's all, all these different people that are still sitting out there and they're doing it. And then they dunk on the chart. I mean, look at XRP. XRP, you can't get the price for XRP to continue moving because the XRP, uh, the people involved, continue to sell off on the chart and continue. Look, they don't even have it all in circulate. There's no, there's no entire circulating supply. They're, the, the, it, it's still being held by the early development team, and they're still selling off every time it starts to pump. Like, we've all seen that by this point. So 
the same thing can't happen here because all of these are out here. So when you're giving this kind of uh, argument, I don't think that's a wild, that, that, that's a wise argument. I think it's a silly argument. Um, we need a development team here who's focused on one thing and one thing only. In my opinion, we need a, a team that's focused on repegging Luna Classic and USTC. Now, I'm not a genius. I'm not looking at the the mechanism behind it very much. I gave my idea, and somebody is actually working on it to see if it's even plausible or or doable. But I don't care whether mine is or not. It's a matter of having a process in place by which, when you swap from Lunk to USTC, and from USTC to Lunk, or when you start doing some trading, that you're burning tokens every single time, and you're burning a significant portion. Not your supply, but the supply going back into the community pool um, for um, or, or into the pairing pool so that you can uh, so, so that they're just getting kind of burned and evaporated away until such time until such time as we reach that spot where we have reduced the supply to a sufficient level. Simple. It's very simple to me. I don't know why it's complicated for everybody else. Now, programming, obviously is an issue and uh the last thing that we saw was when we gave forty thousand dollars to uh some guy uh to put together a proposal which uh it's now april the 12th by the way remember i made a video about this back in december if you want to go check it out uh you can go check it out but i made a, a video back in december like where's the repeg where's the money where's that forty thousand dollars and they were like oh well it was just for a proposal it wasn't for us actually doing anything and then we got into a discussion on twitter uh x at the time i guess but the the answer was well i guess we should follow up on that well that was december uh it's five months later where's the result i mean what is really going on here yeah you're right you can be upset that you got hosed over 40 but you guys voted yes on that proposal it wasn't a pay it, it wasn't part of the team to begin with so you can see right here that even though you have these people saying wild shit like this uh like establishing monthly salaries contradicts ppj risking mediocre results in centralization you're risking no results anyway so that's nonsense so guys vote for your conscience i know i got on a rant here about this but let's move on uh to to conserve a little time this is the pattern that we're running right now so i would suspect that we're probably going to see a big move up here uh, with again capping out 23 24 cents before coming back down uh for something uh getting closer to um we're, we're getting closer to the having so we might see just a, a kind of a rocket ride at some point pretty soon uh that that capital is flowing back into the market uh you know so uh very soon or very shortly you know we should see some kind of move right uh, I'm not feeling the same way on USTC, as you can see right here. This is not the bullish thing that I'm looking for. It's not the bullish indicator that I was looking at. This is a descending wedge. Where does a descending wedge go? Uh, it goes up here one more time, and then boom, breaks off to the downside, which means that we've got an opportunity here to accumulate again at about one cent. So uh, I feel like that's probably going to be the next move right there. I, I I don't feel confident until we get some real clarity and some information about uh, USTC, but we, we've got the rest of the year. Remember, I predicted 10 cents by the end of the year. Um, I don't think that's much, not from here. I mean, it's about 4x. So, um, <laughs> 4x, that's cool. Uh, but you know, I, I don't I don't see any kind of reason for USTC to pump short of uh, some kind of uh, repay, right? So, uh, volume continues to decline, not having leadership, not having uh, anybody in charge over here. Um, you're killing the game here, partner. Uh, down to uh, eight million dollars on USTC. Uh, down to twenty-three million from billions of dollars. By the way, from billions of dollars, we have successfully gotten rid of the team. We've could, we've could successfully allowed people to just dunk on the price, uh, and we're down to twenty-three million in twenty-four hour volume. So anybody who thinks this is driving uh, is not paying attention to numbers and words. So um, twenty-three million is where we are. Uh, down almost 3%. Remember, I told you guys we were down a few percent again uh, two days ago. Then we went up about a percent. Now we're back down 2%. We're just continuing to fall. And we don't have anybody to, 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 to create anything that stops the bleeding, if you will. So, I mean, what are we really doing? Uh, now, uh, don't forget, there are, are we, we do have a community, by the way. Uh, Raykoff uh, and Lenny and all these different uh, tokens are out here in this ecosystem, and all you have to do is really just kind of engage with them. So uh, look at your Lunk Dash over here. You can see who's voting and how they're voting. This is to establish the team. Uh, you can see that there's, yes, Interstellar Lounge, Lunk Development, Twins Go, POS Node, 
and BI Studios. The people that have voted no are Lunk Swap, Community First Lunk, Luna Knots, LVS, Moon Rabbit Validator, of course. But Moon Rabbit Validator never wants progress. They just want to hold your tokens. Remember, I told you this before. Uh, Advow, Cosmic, Golden Rush. Uh, so there you have it. That's what the votes are so far. Remember, and if you're staking with these guys and you wanted it to be a yes, well, there you go. Uh, that's what happens when you give it to people who are not looking out for your better interest. Um, and if they are, by the way, good for you. Uh, also, uh, Lunk Burn, 110 billion Lunk, uh, Lunk Burn, 287 million burn over the last seven days. You know, not a significant amount, but, you know, this is where we are. Now, uh, the one I wanted to bring to you today and what I want to talk to you about was there's a, it's not even a side chain. It's just a, a, a development that's happening uh, in this uh, uh, in this ecosystem. And that is Terraport. Terraport.finance, uh, it's currently under maintenance, by the way, um, is actually in maintenance mode for upgrades. Some services can be temporarily restricted or disabled. And if you come over here to governance, you might be able to just kind of make your way through here and figure out exactly what that is that we're, we're talking about. Upgrade the vesting module. Uh, there's a couple more that have passed over here, which you can check out by clicking here. Uh, these are the ones that have been rejected, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, back over here, though, to the exchange, you can kind of look here and you can see when you're doing this, what your pairings are. You'll be able to pop it. Well, and now it's come down for the maintenance. So they're doing, but let's let's go over this real quickly. Uh, the exchange right here, if you want to make trades, you can come over here and make trades. And uh, normally there is a pop. It does populate. Uh, and, and then, of course, there is over here liquidity pools, and you're able to look at liquidity pools, which will tell you we're just going to go over the basics right now. You'll be able to look at this on your own uh, or at your own leisure later on. You can earn here uh, by staking or farming. Uh, there's analytics that are available to give you what price actions there are on USTC, uh, Luna, Classic, and uh, Terra, I want to say. Uh, then there's development. It explains to you exactly what they're doing, exactly what's going on. And then there's governance over here. And then there's the white paper. So you can check out the white paper. You can kind of see what it is that's going on. Uh, we're going to cover this a little bit more in detail when it's back up and running. Um, but I mean, this this kind of gives you the breakdown of, of what it is. Now, a lot of people tell you uh, this is uh, well, this is just another blockchain that's taking business away from Luna Classic. Well, it's not. Uh, you can have your purest sort of uh, you can be a, a purist in, in many ways and say, well, yes, it is because it's something different that's not on here. Well, there is no way, a simple way to swap. There is no simple way to do all of these things. And is it really taking away from Luna Classic? That's the question. Well, uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to figure out a way to burn and reduce the supply on both USTC and Luna Classic. So uh, does Terraport have a future in that regard? I mean, I think it does, but... Um, this is not the time you know this is the time right now to have 20 teraports out here burning luna classic burning ustc reducing the level of the supply this is the time for all of that to happen so when your purists come out at you and they say stuff like well we shouldn't be doing any of that we should only be doing everything on luna classic and then you say okay well i mean how do we do that do we go to station is that how we do it well no station doesn't work well how do we do it where do we go how are we going to do it well you know it's going to happen here I, but the people are going to have to build on it. We're not building on it because the IBC hooks weren't here until you couldn't even create dApps. You couldn't even do anything with it until just recently. You know why? Because we got rid of the team. Researching crypto is so important. Guys, go to cryptonomy.finance slash research today and learn more about AI, DAOs, DeFi, gaming, layer one or layer two, uh, memes, gaming, NFTs, Web3, whatever you need to know, exploring meme coin trends, all the information is available to you. Now make sure you sign up as a VIP or a pro member. Look at my fixed deposits, guys. You can see right now, I just put in another three ETH that I'm holding until April 5 of 2025. Let me show you the details here. So at the end of this, my scheduled interest is going to be 3.23 Ethereum. So I'm running three Ethereum for letting them hold on to it for one year as a staking process. I anticipate a fantastic payout from this. But guys, the big money is made over here on the launch pool. Make sure that you're checking it out. I'm a bronze member. Remember, I put in about 0.48 Bitcoin with an expected rate of return of 1 to 5x. I'm taking a risk here. If I only get a 1x, I, you know, I think I'll still be fine. But uh, as you can see right now, I've already accumulated 83,691 USDT for my efforts so far. How much Bitcoin is that? It's quite a bit. Go to cryptonomy.finance today and earn for yourself.
Is it all falling together for you guys now? The fact that we don't have a team uh, is prohibitive on helping us do all of the little pieces that we need to do, right? So I'm out here giving you all this information, giving you all this data about things that are really happening in this ecosystem. I mean, here we are. So guys, I know I'm on a rant a little bit here uh, about this, but I mean, guys, you know, we've been waiting long enough. What we need to see right now is we need to see uh, work. We need to see results. We need to see uh, some. So, and by the way, we don't need a penny. We don't need a dime. We don't need a dollar. We need to see results. We need to see building into this ecosystem. And that's what I'm showing you right now. I'm showing that building going through that ecosystem. And until there's a, a solid, a solid hub for us to use a, a, a solid, then, then all of these other solid hubs that people don't like because they're purists. What do you complain about? It doesn't make any sense. You have to have a place to trade. You have to have a place to, to transfer. You have to have a place to stake. You have to have all these different places. And you know who we're using right now? Terraform Labs, the people who want to kill the project because they want all of you to sell your lunk and buy Luna. That's where Moon Rabbit and everything came into play. Remember? I mean, it's, it's, it's simple. We need to get on places that support our ecosystem. So... Go check out terraport.finance. Um, make sure again, if you haven't already, sign up for weeks. I mean, I need you to sign up for weeks. Start doing some trading. You know, work work your work our way through this burn process until we can get a real burn process. Terra Casino. If you're looking for uh, some gaming of some sort, get, go to Terra Casino. Check that place out. Um, and uh, that's it, guys. I, I know I got on a rant. I know I'm a little bit long today. That's okay um, because we're all in the same boat, right? Um, this is not financial advice but I'm always right. I'll see you guys soon and you guys have a good weekend. We'll talk to you again on Monday.